Are you having a problem in your dating or relationship life and you need a question answered? Well, go to my website. The link is in the podcast description and you'll see how you can ask Yaz a question and get it answered confidentially. So go to the podcast description and look for the link where it talks about how Yaz will answer your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz. And tonight I'm going to talk about when you're talking to somebody and getting to know somebody and they're telling you they're single, but they're really not completely single. So let me try to define this whole business about being single, okay? Because this is where a lot of people, you know, there's that confusion when they're getting to know somebody and they wonder why ghosting happens. They wonder why, you know, the person loses interest or doesn't show them enough attention. I'm going to sum it all up for you guys, all right? That's because in a lot of cases, you meet somebody And I'm going to give you the first scenario. The first scenario is you meet somebody and they tell you, oh, yeah, I'm single. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm definitely single. I'm not in any relationship. They may not be in a relationship, but they could be in a quote unquote situationship. Now, what's a situationship? A situationship means that they see somebody. They may not necessarily have a commitment with that person where they're exclusive, but they could be friends with benefits. They could just be dating. They have a situationship, okay? So this is a big problem for a lot of people that are out there and they're trying to meet somebody. They're meeting people that are already in situationships. And this is what happens, you guys. You get to know somebody they always come on strong in the beginning, right? They always, oh, I I can't believe I met you. You're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. Or the other way around, if it's a female, oh, you're the most handsome guy in the world. You know, everybody loves you in the beginning because you're something new and fresh, right? And as time goes on, you see certain things start to change with that person. In other words, Maybe they're not consistent with you. Maybe in the beginning they were calling you the first week, every night of the week, and they were on the phone with you for hours. And you're saying to yourself, wow, I finally found a real one, okay? Then as time goes on, you start to see that this person interest is getting less and less and less. And you're saying to yourself, is it something I said? Is it something I did? You know, how can I build the attraction so this person, you know, will show me the same attention they showed me in the beginning? And another thing that people do is that they may, you know, they show you a lot of attention and then all of a sudden they just poof, they disappear or they ghost, okay? And you text them or you call them and they don't respond to you. Well, I am here to tell you that in a lot of cases, the reason that these people are doing that to you is because they have a situationship, okay? Now, if it's not a situationship, it just means they have a lot of options. That's an, that's the other scenario, which means that they're maybe dating a bunch of different people at once and they're not giving you all their attention. They came on strong. Maybe, you know, it it wasn't progressing the way they wanted it to progress or they figured you you were too much work or maybe there's somebody else in the picture. The thing you got to understand, you guys, is the way dating is today. It's, you know, I don't want to say so much like a triangle, but you know, it's more like it it goes in a circle because the thing is when people used to date years ago, a lot of times you focused in on that person and got to know that person. Today, because of social media, because things are so, you know, a touch of a button, people jump around and they talk to so many different people. And if they hear something that they don't like, or they find somebody's not really keeping their interest, they jump to the next. But 
what I'm talking about is that the other scenario where you're talking to somebody and they all of a sudden you feel they lost interest. If they lost interest on you, the first thing that you have to say to yourself is, you know what? They are not all in because somebody who's all in is consistent. And number two, there's there's probably somebody else in the picture, okay? And this is something that a lot of people don't realize. This is This is what happens a lot. I saw it a lot in the dating world when I was dating, when my best friend was dating. And it was so true. And even like my, my best friend used to say, you know, they all got an old lady at home. Okay. And the expression is basically, they all have somebody or someone that they connect with. Okay. Maybe that they get sex with or that they see. So the point I'm trying to make now, that's not everybody. There's exceptions to the rule. Don't come back at me and say, well, I'm not like that. I'm not saying every single person, but I'm saying a large percentage of the people that you start to get to know when you're out there and you're dating, they have somebody that they probably have been talking to before they started talking to you, or they could have started talking to you. And during that time, they could have just started talking to someone else. Okay. Um, but what I'm primarily talking about is these people that have situationships. These are people, okay, that are hard to nail down. These are people that are very picky. These are people that don't necessarily want to work at a relationship. And these are people that will waste your time, okay? They're going to keep you around and they're going to do what we call breadcrumbing, which means that, yeah, they'll text you. Yeah, they'll call you now and then, some of them. Yeah, they'll see you here or there, but they, they're they not in for the long run, okay? They're there to just, you know, you are providing a benefit to them, Okay. You, in a way, you kind of like almost like the side chick, okay? Because they may have a situationship with somebody, all right? But they're talking to you, but they're keeping you around for when they get bored of that person or if they have a fight with that other person or things don't work out with that other person, they still have you on the sidelines. But here's the thing that you have to remember, They're not going to tell you about that other person, okay? You have to forget about what they say, what comes out of their mouth, because people will say anything to get what they want today, okay? They, They would do that years ago too, okay? It's all part of the game, you guys. A lot of people you know, they only think about themselves and what they want, and they don't always think about your feelings. And a lot of people, you know, they like with the ghosting, they say, you know, why can't people just be honest? Why can't they be honest? Well, they're not being honest with you because they want to keep you around. Okay. So they're not going to be honest with you. They're going to gaslight you. They're going to play dumb. Okay. They're going to tell you, I don't know what you're talking about. And they're going to basically cause confusion in your mind, all right? So here's the thing. When you're dealing with somebody, okay, and they're giving you mixed signals, this happens all the time, you guys. This is game. This is what I'm trying to teach you. This is the game. When you're dealing with people and you see that, okay, you know, they showed me a lot of attention. They really like me. And, you know, now they're a little distant. Now they're pulling back a little bit. You know, now they don't really care if they see me or not. Okay. If they don't, if they're not eager to, you know, talk to you, if they not interested to be around you, then they have something else that is, you know, that's keeping their interest. Okay. Because a lot of times 
these type of people, they don't, they're not just sitting in their living room by themselves. Okay. I just had to tell you that they're not sitting there in the living room, you know, uh, alone in a corner. If they're not interested in being around you, then they're probably talking to somebody else. Or if they're not looking to move forward and date progressively with you, it's because they have a situationship. And in some cases, some cases, they could be married or be in a relationship and not be telling you that, okay? So the whole reason I wanted to do this podcast was because I wanted people to know that, you know, a lot of times when you meet somebody and they tell you they're sick, sick, I can't talk, sorry, when they're single, all right, they're not actually 100% single in the sense that they can give you their full attention, their full investment in getting to know you. All right. So the thing is, when you start to date somebody, when you start to get to know somebody, I I talked about this time and time again in my earlier prior podcasts about they have to be consistent. They most definitely have to get on the phone because you don't get to know somebody by text. They have to make time to see you. Okay, that's another clue that you're dealing with somebody who's either not that all into you or they're in a situationship with somebody else, okay? Where is their time going? This is what you got to figure out. If they're not looking to spend time with you, where is their time, okay? Now, I know we're in a global pandemic and right now everybody is, you know, quarantined and we're living a different kind of lifestyle. So if they're not busy with someone else, they could be busy with you on a virtual chat or busy with you on the phone. So, you know, a lot of people will make excuses. They'll say to you, oh, I've been so busy with work or I fell asleep at uh, seven o'clock you know, on a Saturday night, they, they they will tell you every excuse in the book, you know, why they weren't around. Okay. So you got to, you guys, you got to read between the lines. You got to read between the lines and, and be able to, you know, pick up on when somebody's being transparent with you or somebody is giving you nonsense. Okay. You know, if it doesn't make sense, then it's not sense. And you have to pick up on these things and say to yourself, okay, you know, this person's playing games. This person's playing games. And like I always say in all my podcasts, the minute you see game, okay, the minute you see that somebody is making a lot of excuses, they're not looking to move forward with you, they're jumping around, they they hit you up, but they don't hit you up on a regular basis, you know, um, you, they're just not consistent, they're not asking you questions about yourself to see what you're about, you know, these are all clues, How much time they give you is how much they like you. And they always give you a lot of time in the beginning. This is what confuses people. Oh, they weren't like that in the beginning. Well, that's the beginning. That's when people are going to give you their best face. Or that's when their mask is on and you don't see that person for who they are. So what do I always say? You have to, you know, slow and steady wins the race. That's how you get to see what somebody is about. Now, another point that I want to bring up about these type of people, okay? These are people that like to have their cake and eat it too, all right? Now, they may not necessarily be in quote unquote a relationship or be married, but they have situationships going on, okay? These are people that are jump around type of people. These generally, and I'm not talking about everybody, remember, 
These people are people that basically they are not looking for anything serious, okay? Because when somebody is serious, I, I got to define this because this causes so much confusion with people. When somebody's serious, you guys, they let you know. They don't want to take a chance of losing you. They will move mountains to be with you, okay? That's how you know that you are dealing with somebody who's serious about getting to know you and serious about progressing to the next step. They're not looking to float around, okay? When you deal with these people that tell you they're single, but they're really in a situationship, these are people that float around. These are people that tell you, I want to see what happens, or I'm just going with the flow, okay? Well, they're going to go with the flow, and you know what they're going to do? They're going to waste your time. Believe me when I tell you. They're going to waste your time because what they're doing is they're playing game. They're not moving progressively to get to know you, okay? Like I said, consistency, get on the phone, make time to see you. If, if you know, you live within a certain distance, if not, you make plans to see each other. It flows forward. It doesn't just stay stagnant, okay? And the most precious thing that you have in your life besides your health is your time because you can't get back time in your life. So if you sit there and you are crying over somebody that showed you a lot of attention and now this person is distant and they're, they're not showing you much interest or anything like that, that is not somebody to cry over, okay? That is not somebody to cry over because that person is either not that interested in you or they are in a situationship. That's why, you know, it's really sad. You have to be like a detective with these people. But seriously, if you, you know, if you get the gut feeling that you get, that things just, you know, you don't know where you stand, you don't stand anywhere. If the person's not clear about how much they like you, if the person is dating you a few months and they can't say that they're exclusive with you, then they are they are breadcrumbing you, you guys. They are breadcrumbing you and just floating around. They may like you, but they're waiting to see if something better comes along. Or they might have a situation in the corner that you don't know about. So forget what comes out of their mouth and look at how they treat you. Look at, you know, if they consistently want to see you. All right. Now take it slow in the beginning. In the beginning, you don't just rush and go meet somebody because they, you know, tell you everything you want to hear. You have to make sure that this person invests time in you. This person will, you know, talk to you for an hour on the phone every night and, and, and make an effort to get to know you and, and be able to have a, you know, a good conversation with you and, and try to understand who you are as a person, okay? And the other thing I wanted to bring up too is when you're getting to know somebody, you guys, like I had somebody, you know, contact me and she was dating somebody a couple of months and she never asked her her soon-to-be or boyfriend about his ex who he was with for a, a number of years. And she was nervous about bringing up the topic. Most definitely ask them about their exes. You want to know, you know, how they were in their prior relationships because that is a major, major clue as to how they were going to be with you, okay? Somebody, you know, because people's character is people's character. That's who they are. So, you know, if they were in a relationship with their ex and they told you something to the effect of, 
yeah, every time she used to argue with me, I just walked out the door and, you know, I went to my, my, my buddy's house and my friend's house for two days. Well, guess what? This is how this person deals with, you know, conflict. So that is a clue that when you have a disagreement with that person, pretty much you can count on the fact that that's what he's going to do to you or vice versa if it's woman to man or partner to partner. So you have to ask questions about the exes. You know, that that is so important, you guys. You know how much information you could find out about somebody just by asking them about their ex, just by asking them why the relationship didn't work out, and a lot of them will lie. A lot of them will lie. Yes, they will, okay? A lot of them will say things like, well, you know, I'm going to use the case of women to men, but this can apply to men to women or partner to partner. But a lot of them will say something to the fact like, she cheated on me. She cheated on me, okay? Now, you don't know that she cheated on him just because he's telling you that. That's another thing a lot of people do. Like I had a very um, a good friend of mine. She met this guy. She was telling me, oh, he's so great. You know, uh, he, he's got this great job and, you know, he takes me out all the time and we have a great time together. And, you know, he's divorced. And I said to her, I said, well, why did you find out why he got divorced? And she says, oh, yeah, he told me his ex-wife, you know, she was a drunk and she had an alcohol problem and all these other things. OK. And I looked at my friend and I said, I just want to tell you one thing that could be true. But that could be a story that he is giving you. So don't take everything that they tell you, you know, like, it, you know, it's written in gold because you don't know for sure till you have more conversations with that person if that person is really being very sincere with you about what really happened. And you'll be able to pick up on that because, you know, as you, you get into more conversations with them, you know, like I said, people always expose who they are. The more they talk, the more information you get out of somebody, you guys. It's like it's like when you when detectives, you know, when they interrogate somebody who's a suspect in a murder case, the more they get that person talking, the more information they get out of that person, the more they know what kind of person they're dealing with, the more they're able to solve who you know who that is if they were involved in something what was their part in it it's kind of like in relationships when or any kind of relationship it could be with anybody the more you get that person talking the more you get to understand who that person is you this is a this is a major thing that a lot of people don't realize a lot of people are in relationships and never ask questions you know and and the other thing, too, is when you ask somebody a question about themselves, they usually love it. They love it, okay? You know, we live in the self-absorbed society. So when somebody actually takes a risk or, or takes a chance and starts asking the other person about themselves, they're like flattered, like, oh, yeah, I could tell you about that, unless it's a sensitive issue, okay? Unless it's a sensitive issue that they don't want to talk about, and that that should be a red flag, okay? But you know what? If they don't want to talk about it, that's fine. You you know, you got to ease into those kind of conversations till that person feels comfortable and they're able to open up to you, okay? But yeah, no, definitely you need to um, ask questions when you are dating somebody. The other thing is when you're dealing with situationships, okay, if you're dealing with somebody who's got a situation and they're a situationship and they're not telling you about it, all right? This is when people will, you know, they'll cancel a date on you last minute. Why do they cancel the date on you last minute? Because their situationship called up, all right? 
And that means that they could go over there and have sex with them instead of taking you to dinner. All right. So that is that could be one reason. I'm not saying, you know, everybody that cancels dinner on you is out, you know, having sex with somebody else. No, but you look at the pattern and you see, you know, there's always little clues, you guys. There's always little clues when you're out with that person. Are they staring at their phone? Are they hiding their phone? You know, go look, go listen to my podcast on red flags. Someone is cheating. You know, that gives you an idea if there's another person around that you don't know about. So when you're getting to know people, understand that when you first start talking to them, they may have other people that they're talking to and might be close to. So you don't know how this is going to go. You don't know if this relationship is going to flow the same way it did in the beginning. And the only way you're going to know is in time. Move slowly, okay? Move slowly. And just because, you know, they go up high and they're telling you, oh, you're the greatest thing on earth, you know, oh, I want that too. I want a relationship. It's, oh, I can't believe I met you and everything like that. You know, don't take it like it's the truth. The only thing you'll know is in time whether this person is being sincere with you, okay? But if you do find that you're dealing with somebody and, you know, I was talking to someone who was in a situation like that where she was, you know, talking to this guy for a couple of months and there was another girl in the picture and he was taking this other girl on two other trips and he was telling her he was going to end that with the other girl. And then recently she saw, you know, he went on another trip with this girl. He was breadcrumbing her, okay? He was breadcrumbing her because what he had with that girl that he was taking on the trips was a situationship, okay? If it wasn't his girlfriend, then it was a situationship. So that means he's not 100% available to get to know her because he's keeping that other person in the picture, okay? So, you know, you will know by their actions. You will know by how much time they give you, okay? You will know, believe me, because like I said, if, if they're not giving you their time, you could trust and believe their time is going somewhere, Okay? And a lot of people say, oh, they're working all this time. Everybody uses the work excuse. Oh, yeah, I was working. I was working all the time. Now, I'm not saying there aren't people that work hard and everything like that. But, you know, when somebody really wants to contact somebody, they will. Even the busiest person in the world. It takes literally, you know, less than 30 seconds to send a text or make a quick call and say, you know what, I'm really busy over here, but I'll give you a call tonight, you know, when I get in and we'll talk for a little bit, okay? None of this like touch base thing, you know, because that's what a lot of them do too. They give you the the morning text, you know, like, hey, good morning, have a great day. Then you don't hear from them all day long. And then at night, good night, hope you had a good day. That's not getting to know somebody. That's just somebody breadcrumbing you and letting you know, you know, hey, I'm still around, you know, uh, I still want to keep in contact with you, you know, in case I feel like my other option isn't working out, you know, then I'll, you know, come back at you. They, they do this all the time. These people come back even months later and say, hey, hey, stranger. Hey, how you been? Now, these are people that never, you know, never were consistent with you. But all of a sudden they come back and they're like, you know, uh, how you been? How you been? Well, you know what? I've been good because I haven't had you in my life. Okay. <laughs> but the, the truth of the matter is, you know, these are people that were either busy with somebody else and now they're having a down point, a uh, down period. That's what happens. That's why a lot of them come back and they will contact you or hit you up because they're having a dry, me and my girlfriend used to laugh about this and we used to say, oh, you know, I heard from this guy. Yeah, he's having a dry spell. He just hit me up, okay? This is what they do, you guys. It's not because they thought about you and said, oh, 
I really love you. I really miss you. No, it's because they don't have a lot of times they don't have much going on in their life or they're bored with whoever they have in their situationship over there. Okay. So the thing is, if you're a person that wants to move forward in your life, if you're a person that, you know, is goal oriented and, and wants to have, uh, you know, wants to move forward, maybe wants to have a family one day, maybe wants to build and grow with another person. When you're dealing with somebody who's playing these immature kind of breadcrumbing games and, you know, they're contacting you or you, you got a gut feeling that there's somebody else in the picture that, you know, this person, they don't care if they see you, this person, they don't care if they talk to you then understand that this person is not fully into you or if they do like you and they're not giving you 100%, it's because they got that situationship on the side. So you need to tread lightly when you meet these people. And also, this goes for, you know, the bottom of the barrel dating apps too. I always talk about the dating apps because it's such a joke. You know, like I said, people that know, know that it's a joke, okay? We know it's all game on there. I don't recommend going on the dating apps unless you have absolutely no other options. And I talked about this in my other podcast about trying networking and other ways to meet people, you know, because, you know, the the, the dating apps are all 99% hookups, okay? But, and the other thing about the dating apps is, you know, they should call it the cheaters apps, all right? Because... So many people on the dating apps are in relationships and married. You got tons of married men on there, tons of married women on there, you and tons of people that are in relationships on there. That's why they're ghosting you too, you guys. All right? Nobody tells you this. I'm here to tell you this. That's what I'm here for. That's what this podcast is about, okay? To let people who have been played know what the game is so that people don't play with their emotions or their feelings because it's not it's not right, okay? So understand that. Understand that. If somebody's not giving you their 100%, they're either not that into you which, you know, goodbye and good luck, or they got that situation ship. So don't think just because you're meeting somebody and they tell you, oh, yeah, no, I'm 100% single. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I got nobody in my life. Okay, all right, all right, we'll see, we'll see. And you take it slow, okay? You have to take it slow and, you know, see what that person is about. And the only way you're going to know is to see if they make the effort to have conversations with you, okay? I hope that helps you. If it did, please hit the subscribe button and share and have a great day. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz. I want to tell you about my two books that are on Amazon, okay? You can download them free with the trial membership from Kindle. The first book is Regain Your Power. If you're in a relationship and you feel like your partner has all the control in the relationship, maybe you're walking around on eggshells, you're afraid to approach them, it's going to tell you how to regain your power and and be happy in the relationship, okay? And what you may be doing wrong and that's why your partner has all the control in the relationship. The other book is He's Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time. There's a lot of people that are dating someone or in a relationship with somebody who's not really vested in the relationship. And we we often are confused as to whether our partner really likes us or is into us or wants a future with us. And this book is gonna give you signs and red flags of whether your partner is into you or he's just basically drifting and wasting your time. So go to Amazon and download the Kindle free trial membership. Doesn't cost you anything. And check it out. It may help you. Okay, and have a great day.